All right, uh, it is now working. So what did I do to fix it? Well, uh, I was poking around with my oscilloscope probe and going around and I found way deep inside those wafer switches back in here, there was a connector that I had forgotten to put back together. Uh, so I, I plugged the connector back on and we seem to be up and running. Uh, so it does give me a digital count on all frequencies. So now the question is, can it receive? Uh, so let's put it down here to something. Let's put it here to uh, 7.2 and let's generate 7.2 and see if we hear it. All right, so let's turn on uh, frequency. Let's do um, center frequency of 7.2 megahertz. Let's do a span of zero. Let's do a tracking generator on and I don't hear anything. Hmm. All right, let's go back to frequency. Let's do that 8.83 megahertz again. Let's see if we can hear our uh, hear our IF. Where's our IF here? Oh, that's not working. How come that's not working? It used to work. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I hear it. There it is. It's not as strong as it used to be, but... I do hear something. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of room noise from the lights. These LED lights are terrible. Uh, you hear that? That was interesting. All right, let's go to uh, 21.2. Let's try that. Start frequency 21.2 megahertz. Oh, I hear it. Real faint. All right, well, I hear something, but the, uh, the RF gain is not working, and it should work. So something's making it through, but the RF gain section is not working, like there's an amplifier dead or something. But I do hear... I do hear a tone. It's a little bit off in frequency. Oh, there we go. I had the IF shift. No, RF gain just still does not work. Noise blanker. Whoa. Oh, that works. Okay, so if you didn't uh, know about these old radios, let me turn that down. Uh, there is a cal function, so let me show you that. Uh, modern radios don't have this anymore, but if you wanted to make sure your, your display was right, it was usually 
when you didn't have this display, you only had this, there was no way of measuring the frequency exactly. So you wanted to zero your linear region, your uh, uh, linear uh, knob here. So what you would do is you would turn on the cal and that would introduce a, a comb uh, oscillator that gave you a whole bunch of frequencies. And you can see here, we're getting a really loud tone. And when we, were, when we reach exactly 200, it's zeroed. So there should be another one here at 100. And there is. Oh, it's every 25. So we zero it right at 50 again. So it's every, every 25 kilocycles. We have a marker due to the cowl. So that's working. And then our uh, this is the tone that we're injecting. That's interesting. I wonder what that motorboating was. Goes away. There's still something wrong with the machine here. Maybe there's a capacitor inside the uh, VFO that needs to be replaced. I don't, I haven't looked at that schematic, but we might have to open up the VCO can. Let's take a look at that schematic. Okay, here is the VFO schematic. Uh, we have power coming in at the top, 470 microfarad into a 0.047. So no large capacitor comes in here, here's our oscillator, then it gets amplified going the way out. Uh, I don't know, I don't see any large capacitors other than these 0.047s, and that certainly wouldn't be electrolytic. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong here, so maybe it's someplace else. All right, I've been busy and I haven't played with this radio for a week. Um, so I decided to get back onto it, and I plugged it in, and uh, the display didn't come on, but after about five minutes of warming up, everything seems to work. So there's something intermittent in there. It needs to warm up. I don't know what it is, but now, uh, now I can at least get everything again. And, strangely enough, 14.2, um, I can now receive for some strange reason. It didn't before. Um, so I'm using uh, my uh, oscilloscope's uh, wave generator at 14.2, and here I'm at uh, 14.985, and if I go to 14.2, it nulls out. So that seems to be working. If I go to upper sideband, it's the same frequency, and if I go to lower sideband, it, it's shifted, and I have to retune. So, yeah, it seems to be it seems to be a radio now. Now, the strange thing about it, though, is RF gain doesn't work at all, and I I don't understand that. But it does work. Let's say going to twenty one. Now it's at twenty one dot dot two. Twenty one dot two megahertz, and come back down here. And there we go again. And go to uh, 28.2. I'll change the uh, generator here. Yeah. So, yeah, I I don't know what's going on. It's starting to act like a radio though, so that's good. But it still has some flakiness, and the uh, the RF adjustment does not work. I believe that's done with a uh, a dual gate FET somewhere. I need to figure out where it is and 
maybe that dual gate fit is gone. That's a very common thing to happen to radios is you get some static or a little bit of power reflected back into the radio and uh, the, re the first receiver fit goes bad on you. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs>